Hey guys, it's Sony W. We're going to do a long term review of our Petmate 2 door carrier. This is a 24 inch blue, pro blue over uh, coffee. Now it has multiple screws on the side to keep it nice and secure. This is a very, very sturdy pet carrier for small dogs. It's meant for 24, is a 24 inch size, meant for dogs, but we carry cats with us, which is fine. We also have a smaller 19 inch version that is. Um, a buckle version of this so this is only a single door entry uh, pet carrier and we that's why we actually have this larger one for a top load the top load it makes it a lot simpler than the one door one and also the fact that this one actually has a lot of screws and it's extremely sturdy uh, versus uh, some of the ones that are just plain uh, plastic clip-ons so it comes like this basically it ships where it has it in half where it actually stores in half when we don't use it this is how we normally store it um, we keep it nice and um, compact so we can put it into uh, the garage while it's been wasting too much space. We keep the, all the screws in the bag, also the pet door, and we clean this after every um, time we use it. So we usually bring it to the vet and stuff. And you know, we also, um, it's extremely easy to install. The pet door will go either way. And the screws, there's actually several screws that go all around, and they actually have a slot that is a square slot that actually doesn't make it move. So I basically put it on each of the um, ends first. In other words, all the opposite ends, just like how do you do a car tire or something else like that. You basically want to do the extreme, extreme corners first, then start working on the insides and you know making it nice and. Uh, centered so it only takes about a couple of minutes to set up but i feel that having real screws is a lot more secure than just a plastic buckle clip that like four buckle clips i'm kind of worried that those aren't secure enough so if you are planning to transport your pet um or a heavier pet you may want to get ones with screws like this one like i said this has already been four years old and it still looks new because we basically clean it afterwards and our cats are close to under 20 pounds but most of uh, my larger cats are about close to 20 pounds or so. So this is um, meant for low dogs. But to be honest, putting a cat inside a carrier, the easiest way is to top load. And that's why I got this. Um, I actually helped um, some of other folks help spay new their cats. And they don't have a carrier, so I lent them mine. And they told me it's so much easier using a top load. Also, there's plenty of vents and aeration for the cats or the dogs using this thing. And this is a 24 uh, inch one so it's nice and big has plenty of room the front door could be open either way and at the same time you could actually um, you could flip it around if you wanted to it all depends on how you, you want to do it the top one actually loads and it opens a very large door and it secures with that uh, two rods on the side that just spring out very very heavy duty very very um, useful and um, lightweight as well now when I transport the cats or dogs I usually cover it with a beach blanket and, or towel. I just cut a four inch um, cut in the center of it so that it covers most of the holes. It doesn't cover all the air holes or anything, but it just covers so they, they can't see out. So it's nice and dark and it also um, helps deaden sound around the cage so they're not scared of the sound. So this is actually very, very useful. If I, I also could use like an old shirt or something, but you just have to cut like a four inch uh, cut on top so that you can actually sl slip it over. It's mainly, like I said, to you know, for them not to be able to see the and get scared by outside stuff and lower the noise level. I also put a towel inside so it absorbs any uh, possible uh, accidents that are in there, like, um, or if they get anxiety or anything like that, we put a towel in there so they don't slip around as well. And they basically, you know, basically grab into that, which is nice. So a towel that they that are familiar with is good too. So once you close it up, I usually also do a double check and make sure everything is locked and secure as well. So. Everything is pretty cool. Like I said, this is already four years old, and yet, you know, it's lasted quite a bit of cats and stuff. I actually transport, like I said, lent this to friends and family when they had to transfer the cats or dogs to the vet. Um, I mean, why, why buy multiple if you could basically just lend, you know, lend yours out? And these screws, we have been unscrewed and screwed every time we used it. So, yeah, it's been very, very durable. This pet mate, they really made a really good um, pet carrier. And like I said, the top load especially for cats or dogs, it's extremely easy to uh, load and unload. And also uh, the vet can actually reach in and and handle the pet as well if they needed to. So very, very useful. I usually take it apart and it only takes about a couple of minutes to take it apart um, and just take all the screws, put it up and then wash all the linens and stuff. And I basically put the door there, 
put all these little screws and nuts into a bag and tie it up, put it aside, and I just push the top on top and it, there it is, then I can store it. I also fold up all the linens and also the, um, the blankets after I wash it so that they store nicely so I don't have to search around to find it, to find the covers, and it's much more convenient. Anyways guys, this is Sterling W. I hope this review was helpful to you and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching guys, bye bye. Sterling W channel, I do a lot of Costco runs, price checking, as well as new product finds. Anyways, there's also a lot of long-term reviews and updates as well as other fun current reviews and stuff, as well as DIYs and how-to videos. So check out the channel and have fun. See you next time, bye.